Hi folks, doing Hero of None here to discuss how you can get a push to talk working on Fallout 76 or any application that doesn't have a push to talk feature to it, but has an active listening feature to it. So what you're going to do is go over to Google, put in Morph Vox, which you can use any application that has a push to talk feature to it with a mic uh, altering software, as long as it has some type of driver installs to put a... Uh, a kind of a fake microphone output to it. Uh, and you're gonna put Morphvox in here, M-O-R-P-H-V-O-X. And you're gonna click on this first link here, screenb.com product Morphvox. No, this is a, uh, you can buy this application. Uh, it does it does charge you and does not keep the license per updates. If you wanna go ahead and try it on the other hand, I think it's a 30 day trial, which should be long enough for the Fallout 76 to actually put a push to talk inside the system here. But uh, you can go ahead and try it, install it. And there's also other ways to go ahead and clear out your registry afterward, if, after the 30 days, if you want to reset it again. But either way, just go ahead, download this, install it. After you've got it installed, you're going to have a little uh, application that looks like this on your screen. So I already had this set up here. But what you're going to want to do is, first you want to go ahead and set a kind of a dummy morph that doesn't have any type of change to it at all. So we're going to take a look at this man here. Now, typically, things will be set here differently in the pitch, the tre treble, etc. Uh, but for any of this stuff here that you need, you're going to hit this little pitch reset in timber. That's going to change it here. You see it's modified. You're going to go up to tools, voice analysis. And you're going to do a new alias from the current settings. Now in the current settings here, next. Okay, put in... I'm going to put test in here. Just because we're doing a quick uh, tutorial on this. Uh, they're just going to want you to put something in here for the recording. So just put in blah, 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 blah. Hit stop. And then hit next. And hit finish. So now this is set up to have just basic... No pitch, no tremble, no special morphs to it. If you want to go ahead and add a morph into something like this, that's perfectly fine. Now, after this, you're going to go up into your preferences. And you're going to go down here to key mappings. And you notice the first option here in the key mappings is push to talk. And you're going to have the ability to set something. So go ahead and click on this if it's not clicked. Then it's set. set. As you can hear, you can hear my, my voice now. Uh, uh, toggle toggle key. key, hit okay. okay. Hit okay again. Now, basically what this does is make it so that whenever you wanna use this application, uh, it's gonna go ahead and put it out onto that audio. Currently we have listen on, but notice you don't hear my voice listening, but as soon as I hit that button, test, test one, one two, two, test, test one, one two, two, it shows, it shows up. up. Uncheck that listen if it's already selected. And that should be pretty much it. Oh, uh, wait, we have one other thing to do as well. Uh, you're gonna wanna go down here into your set, uh, speaker sounds here. If you're on Windows 10, this is how you do it. If you're on a different system, just however you do it to get to your sound settings here. And under recording, you're gonna wanna go ahead down here, find your Screaming B audio D and set it as your default device, okay? See, see, it says default device. You want that set as your default device. Now, Fallout 76 from here on out will detect this microphone as your default setting. Hit okay on that. Make sure everything's okay. Uh, that should be pretty much it for setting up how to do the push and talk here. Everything else should be pretty straightforward. Uh, when you actually go inside of the game itself, there are a few settings you should may, may need to set here. So go to settings, audio, and this first part here, voice chat mode, make sure it's set to auto. If you set it to auto, that's gonna make it to do everything here. You can also set it to area, team, or none. If you do it for none, no one's gonna be able to hear you regardless of what you do here. It also makes it so you can't hear anyone else from what we've seen. So go ahead, set audio, or sorry, hit auto, go up to game, Go to play. So 
So we're going to log in here to our character real quick, and we're going to just verify that everything's working properly. Now, like I said, the, the mic that I'm using right now is a Blue Yeti, and everything's going over into Streamlabs uh, OBS, which should be handling most of the audio on that channel. Uh, I had to set that directly because I've set the default now over to the Screen B audio, and this makes it so I can talk to you guys here while the... Folks in, folks in game aren't going to listen to all the banter I'm getting over to, to people in stream. Uh, in addition to that, if you have people in the background that you don't want to hear have heard, uh, you have really bad audio settings or something like that, and you just don't want to have like all the background noise that you have going in there, having a push to talk is really, really helpful. Mm-hmm. All right. So now, once you're in game... Switch yourself back into uh, this here. And notice we don't have any icon above our heads. Hit push to talk here. One, two, three, one, two, three. You see the push to talk is now showing up. Anyone in game can now hear me. I disengage it. One, two, three, one, two, three. No one can hear what I'm saying, but yet you guys can still hear it in through the stream here. So that push to talk is only sending it out when I hit that button. Anyways. That should work well for push to talk here. Again, you can use almost any setting that you want uh, to just, uh, sorry, not setting, any application that you want uh, to do this application, or sorry, to do this trick. Uh, I believe there's a Windows one out there that's also free. I don't know if it actually installs a driver to it, however. Morphox is just the easiest one that I've been able to use, and it's one that I use just for streaming here, uh, typically. Um, Let's see. I have a few other things as well to mention. Just going to close that out real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. A few troubleshooting things here. Uh, so go to sounds here real quick. If you say if people tell you that you're really low in the mic or they can't hear you, there's two settings that you probably want to check, which most people forget to. Go to properties and go to levels and turn your microphone up to top. Uh, typically, uh, Windows will like put it down here to like 60, 40, 20, whatever. Put it to 100% and everyone's going to be able to hear you. Uh, make sure to do that for both the Stream B audio and whatever your other device is. Uh, in addition to that, inside of Morph Vox here, uh, other issues you typically have is like people don't put on the listen or don't put on the morph. Uh, make sure as well that you're using the test one that you used if you didn't do that. And I believe the last issue that people typically have is if you're not able to get any sound coming in, there's two things that could be an issue. First is your device. Make sure that the device that it's selecting is uh, whatever mic that you're using to put, uh, put back in. If you're not hearing the voice coming back to you when you're trying to test it, make sure that you have a correct playback to whatever your default speakers are. And your sound settings sometimes have issues here. Uh, so without getting into a whole issues on what this is here this is basically your threshold like how low is it going to catch capture stuff uh the sound quality you want to go high or low that's going to kind of affect post-processing and the voice pickup if you want it to be low or high uh so you want to adjust this as you need it a lot of the tool tips here kind of explain each one of these anyways that is uh how you can get fallout 76 to give you some push to talk and a little tutorial on morph vox uh for you folks that haven't used it before enjoy